So I want to uh, make an update of my character and I'm currently at level 82 uh, and she's going pretty nice and as soon as I reached the uh, the maps I started doing some trades and what I did is uh, is buy support gems and I didn't use Hulk but uh, all in all that I ended up uh, using currencies that would uh, equal uh, equal to uh, one Hulk each. So uh, I did uh, what I decided to do is have two setups, and one is for my uh, Creeping Frost, and the other is for Cold Snap. And Cold Snap, when you use it, if you kill a monster, you get the charges, and then you can reuse it uh, right away w without waiting the uh, the cast time if it uh, uses a, a charge but basically that's garbage at the bosses because you don't kill the boss each time you use it so this is so the idea uh, I have and I'm pretty sure that everyone does that that uses cold snap is I just set it up uh, thinking uh, that the is its uses was only against uh, like packs of weak monsters so and um, the support gem uh, you get are not that important except that I really like spell cascade and I can show you what it does without it so without it it's somewhat crappy but when you put spell cascade so it covers a really really a big amount of uh, of ground and you can kill a bunch of monsters with that. Yeah, you can see that it goes uh, it goes really far. And yet yeah, it's like you um, it's like your character is on steroids when uh, when you add a spell cascade to the to cold snap. And yeah, then pff, I just checked what people were uh, selling. And I ended up uh, with efficacy and uh, control destruction. But like I said earlier, it's not that important. One thing I would say though is that at s you can put like Cold Snap and Creeping Frost with two support gems. So it's a bit cheaper. And it's actually what I did when I just remembered. That's what I did when I reached maps and later I bought additional uh, gems and made it in two or four links so for creeping frost this is my setup for tough monsters because this thing you can spam it and you can shoot it from afar so uh, when you're against a monster that it's hard it's really cool because you're not in the middle of the trouble and you basically just yeah, you put your totem there and you shoot from afar. And on top of that, like I said in my uh, other video, I've got a bunch of uh, of minions which are all there to take damage. So you're somewhat safe. And you can see, oh yeah, my life pool is not that bad because I'm using mine over matter. So I'm at about well do the math but uh, I think if if we add life shield and uh, mana I'm at 5k um, but yeah that's what I, that's not what I was talking about I was talking about creaming frost so yeah I put this thing which removes area of effect but again I'm just using it at the bosses so I don't mind having smaller area of effect because it's not that important I'm shooting right in at the boss uh, then yeah I think this dropped at some point so I just decided to use it I, I didn't buy this one and I did buy inspiration and I think that inspiration pumps your other spells so it's so when you're in the map you can shoot a creeping frost a couple of time and then your co snap is gonna do more damage I'm not sure about what I'm saying right now because if I'm not mistaken, you get like a, um, an icon uh, on top of inspiration. So I think 
yeah this thing the inspiration from this thing is gonna boost uh, cold snap and apart from that yeah yeah you've got your frost bomb which always applies a minus 15 percent the damage is not that big because it, there's a big timer on, on there but yeah so always at the bosses always put frost bomb and frostbite then I've got uh, the Reaper, which I actually dropped Meat Shield, and I decided to put it on him because he's a bit too courageous, the Reaper. So with Meat Shield, he tends to stay closer to me and die a bit less often, but uh, he does die a lot. What doesn't die is the Golems. As first of all, they respawn when they die, but on top of that, they're uh, immune to elemental so they're super uh, tanky and at some point i got main to drop so i just decided to use it uh, what else yeah the decoy is the decoy is the best gem you can use with a shaky character and even with a good character i think decoy is, is really just that good because the decoy just tanks all the damage for you so um, yeah, I'm using Vitality and Clarity just like uh, I showed in the previous video and pff, I had an open uh, green socket so you can just put uh, yeah for a style point you <laughs> can just uh, put some swords there and they don't actually do anything just looks cool when you want to show it off in a video, hey, hey. Uh, yeah. So that's for the, my little updates on the gem links. I'm gonna show my um, holy cow. Yeah, my progression is not that bad, and I never use alks on the maps. So, but what I did do is get a bunch of uh, magic fine. Uh, not magic fine <laughs> that's a Diablo 2 term but uh, increased rarity of uh, items so 91 and on top of that I've got uh, I was able to uh, get the uh, Sedzima's uh, touch so I've got more quantity so I just get more items generally speaking and they on top of that they're they've got more rarity rarity so yeah what I was saying is that I never used any alk so at some point the maps just drop uh, being rare and in the red maps I don't know him I mean <laughs> each vowels are worth two alks so uh, good luck with that that's what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say. Um, yeah okay, okay I could show the Alice skills. So I went and get those things. And I'm not even sure it was the right thing to do. So I got both of these and both of these. But there's a node, I think this one. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should have maybe just get that thing. So afterward you can't use all of the what what are they called? The uh, the notables. If you search notable here, you're gonna see it. Notable. Ah, I can't. Notable. Yeah, so it disables all the, all the notables, but you get 20 Atlas passive skill points. I think that's really good. And next time I play, I'm probably gonna get this thing and just go uh, ape crazy on getting more. Uh, either rarity of maps or just more maps because the maps it can get tough to to to, to find the, your maps and i did buy a lot of maps but at some point you uh, yeah the maps start to, to drop so but it's all linked to uh, to getting the nodes for uh, more maps and now i'm just you know, wandering around and sort of going back to, back to those those things and all uh, for me all the other nodes are completely useless. I don't 
I mean, I, I've played a lot of maps, and I, are you really? Maybe if you get the XR, yeah. Oh, yeah, I should go this way. Yeah, I should have went this way because at some point I'm gonna be in uh, the Exarch. Yeah, that's where I should have went. I'm just gonna see. Yeah, I went that way like a dumbass for no reason. Should have went this way. Get those two. But yeah. Well, maybe I'm gonna stop there, and I've got to refound. Could uh, could refound both of these? Yeah, and there you get more quantity. Uh, well, increased pack is pretty much uh, quantity. With more monster, more uh, more stuff. Yeah, I could remove those two and just go like this way, right here. One, two. Three. No, it's gonna be a while to reach that anyway. Uh, what else? Yeah, the passive skills. So I s I think this node is so good. No, not this one. Uh, yeah, this one. And what I did next is that I just got everything that was related to minions because you boost their damage and you boost your damage. So it's really really good. So from the last video, yeah, I got all the the minion damage nodes I could get. I even got this one. It's a, it's a little ten percent and more HP for my uh, my dummies, and yeah, I just got this this stupid known. So now my resist is max, and I I just got all the resist I could get from the the known. I even remapped this uh, this mastery and I got. Once again, all the all of this node, which means that I'm using really crappy gear. Like here, there's no resist. Oh, this thing I traded for like half an uh, alchemy, and <laughs> later this one dropped. This was better than the one I bought. Stupid. And uh, look at this, I'm using two blue items there. And I once I, I I went and even used my Envarius that wasn't selling anyway, so I just decided to use it. And that's when I dropped the, my second one and I had this bad shield laying around, which I'm now using just for the resistor to compensate uh, from the Envarius because uh, it's it's minus 20 to this style is pretty big see there's and oh yeah see I've got increased rarity here there and of course the end various but you can see that there's no resist or very little resist on my gear so I just went ape crazy with the resist on the tree and I think it's pretty uh, it's working pretty fine this way do I want to show anything else in the tree? Yeah, now I don't know where I, I might go this way just to get even more resist and maybe change my gear, but yeah, I'm at the point where I don't even know where I'm gonna go next. So in the worst case, I'm just gonna get the uh, the damage nodes of the the minions, which also affect myself, or I could go there and have more area for uh, yeah for cold snap. <coughs> so that's the, the other idea. But you, you can see that I generated like some some alks. Uh, my and what else? I could show the uniques I found, which I'm not able to sell because no one wants them. I mean, it's supposed to be a good ring, but no, nobody wants to buy it, and I'm under uh, under price on top of that. What else? Yeah, this is crap, but. Uh, and I found this armor earlier. It's pretty big damage. Uh, 
and just to show you the amount of support that I found just found this one so you can see that you don't get that much uh, support so yeah you end up uh, buying uh, support gems so it's, that's the name of the game and uh, there's no problem in my mind to have two two items that are basically just there for the uh, the four links and I'm still using this armor still using this one uh, the ring I don't know if I was using that earlier but uh, yeah and another thing yeah, you can notice is that I don't, I don't have run walk so my character is super slow but that's not it's really more important to have a lot of uh, rar rarity on your items because otherwise you just run out of uh, well you run out of uh, of even transmute because you need to find yellow items and sell them so I'm just gonna show some maps which I recorded earlier and I'm also gonna do this map just to uh, this is a, a typical map that I run